In our world today, there is much hate, but there's also love. This is a two-part series, each part portraying a little bit of both. This is Anatomy of Hate. Who are you? Uh, my name is Mason Lobajinsky. I'm a junior here at Antioch Community High School. My name is Genesis Casillas. You guys will call me Mrs. Casillas. I'm the post-secondary counselor here at ACHS. My name is Mikey Casillas. I'm a senior here at ACHS. Tell me about your experience with hate. Being a trans person in today's America, it's not really a shock when you get hate. Like, it kind of comes quite regularly, even when I'm just trying to exist. I was in my bio class and my gym's first period of the day. Oh, I asked Mr. Caro, hey, can I like stop by and like grab my jacket out of my locker from the locker room? And I changed in the girls' locker room. I, I went in there, I grabbed my jacket, and these girls were kind of just like staying around my locker, like to make conversation, because like making new friends. And so I, I heard them, they were talking about like how they were rollerblading and my gym class was also rollerblading. And I was like, oh my God, I love rollerblading. And this one girl says, I loved when this was an all girls locker room. So throughout my life, um, I am a Latina. So I have looked different than my peers typically. You know, one of the stories that comes to mind is the conversation I had with a, an older male who asked me if I had a more American name he could call me. One, I said, no, I don't. I wish I had other words that I could use to really express how that felt. And from that moment on, I have made it my mission as uh, an educator, as a counselor, to really look at equity and inclusion for all students, no matter their background. Um, trying to make sure that I help students learn how to stand up for themselves, which I think I was lacking at that moment. Last year, when I was a junior at Antioch Community High School, I decided to go across the street to Walgreens after school one day to get myself an energy drink and to pick up a birthday present for one of my friends. I was going to get myself an energy drink and I was in the fridge when I opened the door and some lady came up behind me and tapped me on the shoulder. A random lady was trying to get my attention in the middle of Walgreens. And she looks at me and she goes, does your mother know you're dressed like that? And I was confused. I was wearing a long sleeve t-shirt and sweatpants and I was holding a stuffed dog. And I go, dressed like what? And she goes, does your mother know you're dressed like a whore? I, I was just a little taken back, and I kind of stepped back, like closed the door. How did it make you feel in the end? What, what, what was the need to say that to me? It's like nothing I haven't heard before. <laughs> like, it was just like, really? Like, I'm just trying to grab a sweatshirt and just have a chit chat with some girls. Like, was that really like, what you wanted to do. Oh my gosh. You know, I still think back about it, so it was that impactful for me that I was really bothered. Um, and if he said it to me in the privacy of a conversation, who else is he saying this to? Um, so I was really, really bothered by that. I mean, it isn't the nicest thing to say to someone else, but um, in the end, I was laughing about it. I told my mom about it. We were laughing about it because obviously she approved of my clothing choice and there's nothing anyone else can say to me that I haven't already heard, so. This is how much hate is in Antioch. Imagine how much is in our world. Give us hope to treat people with more respect in our communities. Thank you for watching Anatomy of Hate and go check out part two, Anatomy of Love.